This week's Ask Dr. Dury uh, questioner has a very specific question. This individual, a gentleman, has heard about uh, immune therapies and has heard about CAR T cells, the uh, engineered uh, T cell therapy uh, we've had many discussions about, and then also monoclonal antibodies. Uh, there are several types of that. Uh, daratumumab is one of the best examples. But another type of treatment, immune therapy, is called bispecific. And so this patient wants to know, well, what are bispecific therapies? And so this is a particular type of monoclonal antibody, which has two arms in the antibody process. One arm of the antibody attaches to the myeloma cell. And normally right now, the most popular antigen for that is the B cell maturation antigen, which is BCMA, which is commonly on the surface of the myeloma. And that's uh, the best way to tag or to grab onto the myeloma. The other uh, arm of the monoclonal antibody uh, grabs onto the T cells using a, a CD3 receptor. And so this process brings the T cells close to the myeloma and activates the T cells to attack the myeloma in addition to the direct attack which comes from the monoclonal antibody itself. And so this is a double hit against the myeloma. And so it has been difficult to engineer these types of bispecific antibodies, but uh, quite a number are now uh, in development and results are being uh, presented. And so a phase one trial was presented at the ASCO uh, medical conference this year, teclistamab. Uh, this is a particular type of uh, monoclonal antibody being developed uh, by the, the Janssen Pharmaceutical Company. And very promising early results were presented with this bispecific antibody. Uh, there were very deep responses and the uh, side effects were, were manageable, uh, different uh, uh, combinations of reduced blood counts and the like, which we frequently expect, but in general, uh, a manageable toxicity profile. And so the advantages of this uh, type of therapy is that it's uh, rather safe, seems to be safe. Uh, it is off the shelf. And so this is something where uh, they could have it in the pharmacy, not like the CAR T cells, where they send, they send the cells off uh, to a manufacturing uh, facility to have the engineering done, and it can take two or three weeks for the cells to come back. And so this is off the shelf. Uh, the, the disadvantage, though, is that it is given by, in this case, uh, uh, with the teclistamab, a subcutaneous injection with an ongoing uh, treatment. And so this is uh, rather uh, inconvenient. However, uh, the bottom line is that these uh, uh, bispecific uh, monoclonals, and there are quite a few in development, are offering promising deep responses against the myeloma with what will mostly be what seems to be an acceptable toxicity profile. Uh, the disadvantage being the, uh, the need for injection uh, uh, for, for administration, which makes it a little less uh, convenient. However, uh, very promising, and we really are excited to await the results of, of these ongoing trials to see what will be the position, uh, position of, of this immune therapy versus the others, uh, which are also very exciting and active.